Hey YouTubers, so now we're going to go over some of the features of the Tinkin Q5 projector. Alright, first the remote. Um, it's obviously got a power on button. It's got a uh, button to turn off the lens. It has a fast forward, um, chapter skip, play pause, volume up, volume down. Ability to flip the screen, source button, zoom, um, arrows up, down, left, and right, and OK or enter button, uh, menu button here, exit button there, um, numeric keypad, and also uh, well, alpha numeric keypad for typing in things. So that's the remote. Now the projector itself has the ability to um, adjust your picture, um, basically uh, elevation wise on the table. So let's take a look at that. So this is the device I use to adjust and you can see the picture is changing as it tries to help me square this up vertically and that looks pretty good. This other uh, thing here is the uh, focus adjustment. So it seems to work pretty good. Now we have basically all these same buttons uh, that are on the remote, obviously. Um, there's obviously a power button. Uh, only negative I see here, and I'll probably talk about this more my actual review of the device is it's really hard to see these things uh, on here um, to use the remote you've got to point it at the back of this so um, that's kind of a negative if you were sitting to the side of it so whoever has the remote has to sit behind it there's uh, what appears to be the uh, speaker here we have obviously our lens, which uh, is already a little dirty. I uh, just open it up. Um, on this side, we have a VGA port, USB, and HDMI. So far, um, I've not had the best of luck with the HDMI yet, but uh, USB appears to work pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at the menu options. So, you see this shows a bunch of the movies that I have. I want to exit out again. Alright, here's all the things you can do with the picture uh, aspect ratio if you want to change it to 4.3. Well, or maybe not. Well, trust me, it works just for some reason. Not working right now. Um, okay, so when you have the USB in, you're able to see uh, these choices photo, music, text, um, and basically to go into the movie button, you hit the OK button. Uh, there's one hard drive here. C drive and then I have it uh, separated by movies and then you go in there and are able to pick your movies alright so as far as the menu goes um, you have the ability to uh, do some adjustments And the source button allows you to choose between these devices. Um, back to the menu. So a lot of these will take some time for me to uh, figure out their, if they're really useful or not. Uh, here is surround. If I want to have uh, Surround mode on. Uh, 